What is going on, journos, comics, and pop culture? I am Chris. Thank you all for being here this evening. So many people already in the chat. Who's ready for a giveaway, man? I 3K subscribers. I, I wish I had some like bottles or champagne to pop, but I got some water bottles to pop. <laughs> but with that being said, welcome everyone uh, who is in the chat. Uh, we got uh funk comics joe g b schner uh john thomas las cruces <laughs> what is going on johnny five kid collector tris nails tony trombetta what is going on everyone so so happy to uh see everyone here tonight we got uh a lot to cover guys we're gonna hang out we're gonna kick it for a little bit and then we're gonna be um giving away some prizes. I'll go over all the prizes that we have. Remember that tonight, right here on this live stream, we'll be giving away the grand prize for my 3,000 subscriber contest. But it doesn't stop there. 6 p.m. Pacific time, head over to the comic book canon, and we will be announcing the second place winner there. Of course, if you do win the grand prize, you will not be able to win the second uh, place prize, but I do hope that you still come over and watch the combo book canon show uh so it's going to be a fun and, and long night uh rocking the journos comics gear guys uh for those interested link is is below to my uh merch website cop up some uh some journals comics i got the white tee with the black logo with the red sun boom raider bear what's going on azores Thanks for popping in, man. So yeah, guys, it's been a, it's been a, a really fun week. I did a lot of fun videos, got a lot of fun feedback from a lot of people on the videos that I did this week. A lot of, once again, controversial stuff. I mean, you know, whoever knew that, uh, uh, comics would be so controversial. K Titus, what is going on? Oh man, I'm, I'm, I'm so ready for this guys. Tigar. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. Um, man. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's just hang out for a couple minutes and then we'll get into going over all the prizes. Uh, I'm going to show off every single book that, that we have to, to announce for whoever this, this lucky winner is. We had a lot of, uh, entries guys. I, I think there was like over 150 entries. So, uh, a lot, a lot of people. A lot of people, and again, those, I, I want to say, I want to give a big, big shout out to my patrons, actually. Uh, you know, the patrons do get an, an extra um, entry into the contest. Let me um, pull up the list here just so I, I make sure I don't forget anyone. I want to give a big shout out to all my patrons that have been uh, supporting the channel over this, over this last month. Um, yeah, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> Uh, I know Joe G's in the house. Uh, appreciate you, Joe G. Uh, Simon R, Larissa, um, Sagi, uh, Dan, Jamie, uh, I believe uh, J Jamie Waz, right? <laughs> uh, Bishner, all you guys, I really, really appreciate you guys, you know, uh, uh, supporting the, the, the channel via uh, Patreon. And I will be doing my first Patreon exclusive video sometime next week probably next weekend after thanksgiving where i will be answering all your guys's questions so for my patrons if you guys have any other questions you want me to answer in that video for this month uh please let me know probably before thanksgiving that way i can get all the questions in coffee breath ben frank what is going on richard Whew, man man lots of lots of good people in the house yeah, guys, I, uh, I'm, I'm rocking my, uh, my jacket. It's been cold here finally, cause it's usually summer here, but I'm rocking the jacket actually, because, um, when I was just wearing the white shirt, it was sucking in all the light. It was sucking in all the light and you couldn't see me. So I had to like, I, I had to get, get something on top, but I still wanted to rock the, the journos wear. Um, indeed, indeed. Uh, let's wait about another minute before I get started to showing off some books, guys. Um, I got some awesome videos planned for next week too. It's going to be kind of a short week, obviously with Thanksgiving. Um, I'm probably not going to be making videos towards the end of the week, but I have a couple 
uh, really interesting videos in mind. I have an unboxing that I should be doing probably this weekend. Um, I, 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 I might have two unboxings. One is a key unboxing. Simon, what is going on, Simon? Alfredo sauce. Indeed. Guys, I'm Sicilian and I make bomb uh, Alfredo, uh, fettuccine Alfredo from scratch. Uh, I just had to throw that out there. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> oh, man, guys. Hey, but let me just state, too. Please, guys, show up for the Comic Book Cannon Show, 6 p.m. The link to the Comic Book Cannon Show is below as well. We got an awesome show. Guys, there were some really, really sweet announcements this week and, and, and today. You guys aren't going to want to miss that. We got a lot to talk about. A really interesting uh, top 10 uh, and top three hot books of the week. Uh, and of course, announcing the the second place uh, prize winner. So make sure everyone heads over to Combo Book Cannon. We're going to be here until about five o'clock, and then we'll take a little break. Combo Book Cannon show starts at at six o'clock. So, Jason, what's going on? All right, guys. All right. So, let's see. Jason says, "What time did you cut the list? I entered right before seven. Oh man, yeah, I cut it uh, last um, at midnight. At midnight, Jason. Um, so I got everything set up. I'll, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we could do, Jason. Uh, we could get you in to be included to uh, possibly to be an entry for the second place prize. Okay. So when we're done here, because I, I I take a break, um, I'll go back and we'll get you in with the names to have a chance to win the second prize prize. Okay. Because I want to make sure I, I appreciate you. Um, and, uh, even though you, you missed the cutoff, I, I appreciate you being here right now. So, uh, we'll get you in there to at least see if you can win something. All right, Jason, how's that sound? Um, John Thomas, what time is dinner? Right, man. Um, yeah, I don't cook on, on Fridays because of, uh, just everything I got going. So, um, Awesome, Jason. We'll see you there on the cannon for sure. Uh, guys, okay, so so a big, big shout out, Hassan. <laughs> First place prize should be the pasta. Sounds good, huh? All right, guys, so I want to give a big, big shout out to those that helped out uh, with this contest. First and foremost, and I saw Tony in the chat, big shout out to EGS uh, for, for donating a, a big, prize to the grand prize bucket um big big thank you to tony and egs i want to give a big thank you and shout out to a1 comics as well um and uh egs's and a1 comics links are below as well guys uh big shout out to a1 comics because they donated a 50 dollar uh gift card to the grand prize winner so just just amazing and then i want to uh uh thank uh bcw uh, because we got a couple of BCW su supplies, one going to the grand price prize winner and one going to the second place prize winner. So with that being said, Los, what is going on? Michael. Appreciate it, Michael. Back, back after a 25 year hiatus. Nice. I'm so glad that you are back, man. I've been, you know, with all the videos that I posted this week, I've had a lot of people commenting saying, yeah, I've been back in the hot or I'm new to the hobby been collected for 10 months or I'm I'm back I've been back in it for like the last two years and and I, it's just I'm so happy to see so many people either getting into the hobby or getting back into the hobby contrary to what some may think about saying nobody's collecting comics anymore there's no new people coming in the hobby I just I beg to differ I will say all right guys so um let's start showing off some stuff guys okay First off, like I said, the grand place prize winner will be getting a $50 gift card to A1 Comics. Now, you don't have to be in the Sacramento area. You can shop online on their website, or you can hit up one of their uh, live Instagram sales, and you can, you know, either, uh, you know, they do have some auction items, but it's mostly claim sales. You can claim something there. You can use your gift card and they can ship it to you. So uh, it's not like uh, if you're in, you know, if you're on the East Coast or whatnot and you win that you're going to have to come take a trip out to Sacramento to visit A1. You can definitely still 
use that uh, $50 gift card uh, in a couple of different capacities. All right, now, grand place prize. We got this, the darkness, Sylvestri art. Beautiful, beautiful case right here from BCW. The store folios. Look at that, just beautiful. Uh, and it's filled with books. It's filled with books. Look at this. Look at that. Woo. Best core. What's going on? Our butts. All right, guys. Let's pull these books out and see what we got going, huh? All right. We got Power of X, issue five of six, second printing. We got Star Wars. Let's see. This is uh, Star Wars number six. Uh, the 40th Anniversary Empire Strikes Back variant. We got Green Lantern, New 52, number 30. And number 16. Uh, Action Comics, number 975. And we got Action Comics, number 652. We got a True Believers X-Men 58 reprint, first appearance of Havoc. And then a, a Captain Marvel, uh, or excuse me, a Marvel Superheroes uh, True Believers featuring uh, Captain Britain. Funk Comics, what's going on? Shop, what is going on, guys? Oh, we got a, a Superman, nice Bronze Age Superman. This is uh, 273. I will put that in a bag and board. I will definitely, this one's, I will put these, the, the ones that aren't in a bag and board, I will definitely bag and board them up. We got Amazing Spider-Man number 43. We got uh, Moon Knight number two featuring Spider-Man. That's a Mark Spector Moon Knight run. All right. We got my folks from New Jersey, Be Free Presents Fight With Me featuring Lifelong. And this book correlates to a song on one of their new albums. All that information is in here if you guys are into hip hop. Basically, they took the lyrics of the song and made a comic about it. Really, really cool stuff. Really awesome stuff. This is my folks uh, from way back in the day. Big shout out to them. Jersey in the house. All right, we got Spider Woman number 42. Pedro, what's going on? Swaggle Haas. Thank you, thank you. All right, we got Justice League number four. And we got Sensation Comics featuring Wonder Woman number five. All right, all right. We got X-Men Blue number 29. And we got Batman Detective Comics number 679. All right, so that's everything, Bishner. That's right, Jersey. Uh, that's everything in the case, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it back in the case for now. Yeah, and this case is full. Oh, it's full on full. There it is, beautiful, beautiful Sylvester art. Uh, now we do have. I'm going to throw in one of these guys. And again, anything that's not bag and board, I will bag and board. This is the Amazing Spider-Man number eight, a reprint edition that was issued in local newspapers, guys. Look at that. Hernani, what's going on? Toronto. Look at that. This is um, full color. I believe these were issued in local newspapers when the original Sam Raimi movie came out. Pretty cool. All right. Now, a couple of uh, big guys here. We got a beautiful, again, from A1 Comics, Wonder Woman number one, the 1984 run. Beautiful George Perez art. Uh, they got this in a in a fine. Uh, it looks like it has a little bit of rippling right here from some maybe some moisture. 
but uh, I will. I still need to give this a press. I will give this a press before I send out whoever wins the prize. I'm going to press this up to definitely get this. I mean, outside of uh, a little what appears to be moisture damage, this is a beautiful book. And if I could press this out for whoever wins this, it's going to be definitely more than a fine. Okay. Like if that, if that wasn't there, this is definitely a, I would say like a, a near mint minus at minimum. I mean, the, the edges are sharp. The edges are sharp. Uh, there's a little bit of spine stress that could probably get pressed out, but there's no dings. Corners and edges are, are beautiful. And it's, it's, it really is. It's just this, um, it's just this little bit of a moisture damage. I don't know if you guys can can see that very well, but it does look like it's stained the the paper. There's a little bit of discoloring through the pages uh, where that is. But ultimately, this is a beautiful, beautiful looking book, and I'm gonna do my best to to try to get uh, a couple gray bumps on it uh, in the press before I send it off to its new home. Let's throw that back in here for now. All right, and then courtesy of Tony Trombetta and EGS, this beautiful 9.8 J. Scott Campbell variant, Black Widow number one. Guys, I, 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 uh, I wanted this contest to go on longer just so I can keep this in my collection for, for a little bit longer to pretend that it's mine before I give it away. <laughs> it's so beautiful. It really is. Now, look, Jay, I, I really appreciate Jay Scott Campbell. I like his stuff. I do think some of his stuff is a bit overrated. Um, sometimes it, it his style bothers me. Um, I, I just sometimes the, the tiny nose with the, the little red tip just it's like gets like nobody. Nobody has the same nose. Not all women look exactly the same and have the same little tiny red rosy nose. Right. But when J. Scott Campbell is at his best, he's at his best. And it's amazing. And I think this is one of them. Absolutely. And just the, the beautiful black and red with the custom black and red label. Um, you know, with the, the, the Black Widow insignia back there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Certificate of Authenticity with greater notes. Uh, yeah, there it is, guys. Beautiful stuff. All right, guys, that is uh, the prizes. And again, don't forget, $50 A1 Comics uh, gift card for a lucky winner. Now, before we go into announcing the winner, guys, let's hang out and chat for a little because I should have a special guest coming on that I want to announce the winner with, okay? So uh, for now, let's just spend maybe a few minutes to sit back uh, and hang out. If you guys have any questions, let's talk. You know, I, I am going to try to take this, this jacket off cause it's so hot in here It may kind of distort the color in the video. See guys, but, um, hopefully you guys don't mind. I am actually, it, it's warm in here. Um, it was cold this morning, but Phil, what's going on? What is going on everybody? All right. So anybody got anything they want to talk about for the next maybe five to 10 minutes? Did you guys check out my videos I did this week? Brick Hunter, should I just send you my address because I'm going to win? Brick Hunter is confident. He is showing confidence. Yeah, guys, it was a fun week for videos for me. I pulled, I pulled the, uh, the community um, and did an awesome video discussing uh, my findings on how people are spending money and collecting. Uh, that was really cool. And um, what is an A-OK? -okay? Act of kindness, Akuma. Act of kindness, yeah. Jamie Waz in the house. Uh, Roger B. What's going on, guys? So, yeah, so I, uh, there's just been a lot of conversation on social media that I've been getting into. And just I've been really, really focused on uh, these, these topics that I did videos this week for discussing basically, uh, you know, the health of the industry. And I just want to say today, for for the most part, for everyone watching, I am just thankful. Like you guys, you guys are what what tell me that this industry is going strong because I see so many people day after day, week after week, that have 
such a positive outlook to the hobby and to collecting uh, that, you know, come together as, as a community. Uh, we collect in different ways. We come from different backgrounds. There's, you know, we have so many differences, including within the hobby, but we, we appreciate how we collect and we find the joy and the love in that. And then we can respect others for, for doing what they do. Right. Uh, yes. Uh, Myth Lab, what's going on? Pedro. Uh, yeah. So I just wanted to kind of, uh, kind of put that statement out there, guys. Um, I'm just, yeah, it's just, oh, there we go. There's, oh, there's, that's, oh, oh, there we go. I'm in the light now, guys. I'm trying to get the lighting good for you guys. Um, comic noob. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Simon R says, Chris, getting my first set of books back from CGC next week. Yes. Thanks for helping me pick those bad boys out and send them. Uh, I can't wait. Yeah, I hope you uh, post some pics on Instagram and uh, cannot wait. What do you think of the rumor that Shuri will be the next Black Panther in Black Panther 2? To me, she's too scrawny to be intimidating. Uh, uh, Roger B., you know, I really, I stayed away from talking about, you know, Black Panther 2 just because I just wanted to have respect for a real human being, Chadwick Boseman, a really decent and amazing human being that really impacted and inspired many by his art and his craft and, and him being a, a part of this human race. Right. And um, so I really stayed away from it. I, I really didn't like that as soon as he passed, like, Oh, black Panther too. Um, but you know, looking at it um, and we're going to have some black Panther news tonight on combo book canon guys, uh, black Panther two news that is, but um, I mean, ultimately look, it happened in the comic books. I wouldn't be mad at it. Scrawny. I mean, look, let's, she is a woman and women some more than not sometimes have smaller struck, uh, you know, uh, uh, size and bone structure and whatnot. So, you know, but, but Hey, look, she's a young actress that can develop more into her role. Uh, she can put on some weight and some muscle as well. Women can do that as well. So, and, and, and think about it too. It, it's not just about size, you know, when, when we think of, especially the uh, black Panther mantle, because they, you know, they do get uh, 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 the, the power. Uh, they, they will uh, take on the Black Panther uh, power uh, from the plant and, and wear the suit. So, you know, it's, it's absolutely workable. And regardless of man or woman, I think these, these actors and actresses, they know how to get ready for a role. And it's just crazy. It's, it's crazy how they do it. I don't get it like um, Christian Bale going like he got like extremely overweight for a role and then like deathly thin for another role. And like, he got ripped for Batman. Like, it, it's just crazy that, you know, when you got the time and the money and the, 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 the ability and the know-how to like train for these, for these roles, it's just, it's crazy what they do. So, um, yeah, I mean, look, I, I, I am still in a position where I can't even assume what they're, regardless of, of who's going to take them over the mantle. I just can't, it, it's so hard to fathom that film without Chadwick. And I'm just, I'm not there mentally yet personally, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy to think about it, but yeah, indeed, indeed. Jo yeah. Robert Downey bulked up like crazy. Yep. And his, and a kick-ass suit. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. For sure. Uh, Catwoman is coming back. Joe G, uh, Catwoman is, is coming back in, um, uh, the Batman, Matt Reeves, Batman. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm the hot brick hunters not selling. Yeah. Don't sell your fantastic for, um, 20, uh, 52 yet. I would definitely hold on to that. Look, I mean, regardless that that's a long-term, that's a long-term investment book for me. Uh, in general, Fantastic Four fifty two, um, but yeah, uh, it's 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 so sad. I just it it it's tough for me. What do you think of DC Future State? Uh, I think uh, I think DC Future State is going to be a positive thing. I'm really hopeful for it. Um, I believe that um, I believe that you know that that they got they really DC needs to have the the right stories behind the characters, right? And they need to pull the reader in. You know, these aren't just going to be books that are going to be speculated on 
or you, you, you know, bot to flip. They, there, there has to be the substance there that speaks to the readers. And and I think it's 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 I I think they're going to do a good job at that. Um, one thing that that I've talked about before and that Jim Lee talked about at Fandom is you know talking about you you know really tending to a more international market because the international market is there and it's growing. And I think Future State is going to do that for sure. Uh, I think it's, and I'm hopeful that it's going to be a bridge uh, between younger collectors and older collectors as well, where I think both sides of the coin can really say, oh, look, this is something, you know, and I think it's going to really be a, a pivotal, pivotal point to say, to DC, depending on the success, how, where are we going to go from here? How are we going to handle the future? How are we going to handle the next few years with, with print comics? I, I think it's, it, it, you know, a lot is teetering on this, but I'm very, very optimistic. Um, indeed, indeed. Uh, Swagwa says, I think they will most likely recast Black Panther and do a tribute for Chadwick at the beginning of Black Panther 2. Guys, uh, th all this Black Panther 2 talk, definitely, definitely stick around uh, for the Combo Book Canada show on the Combo Book Canada page. We'll be talking about these things. We will. Uh, let's see. Looking forward to some Batman stuff. Also, hoping that Red X is good, says Ben Frank. Uh, let's see. Indeed, indeed. Uh, by the way, guys, I'm, I'm having another Marvel marathon right now. Uh, and uh, with my son, my son wanted to watch the movies again. So we're having a Marvel marathon. We started from the beginning. And I'll tell you guys, watching these movies again, and I've seen all of them multiple times. I've had different marathons through the years now. And uh, I'm going to say, I, I know both of the first two Thors aren't, you know, at the top of people's list. But I think the dark world gets like the brunt of it all. I'm going to say. I, the, the more I watch the dark world, the more I actually enjoy it. And I enjoy the dark world more than I enjoyed the first Thor. I will say the dynamic too, between, um, Hemsworth and Huddleston, you, you know, Loki and, and Thor really was excellent in both of those movies though. You know, I, I think the dynamic between, uh, Jane and, and, and Thor is fell short in both films and it's almost like, you know, you're going back and forth between two movies, whereas other other Marvel Studios movies, you know, where you had like, you know, look at look at Thor Ragnarok. I think that was a a, a, a nice blend of the humor with the, the, the like the space sci fi saga. Right. Where I don't think really the human earthly aspect in the love story and the humor of what was going on on Earth fit well with the ads guardian you know, storyline in both of those films. I think there was, it was like watching two completely different films. I know like for a 64 page special felt like there was like, it was like a Hallmark movie with Thor number one, <laughs> you know, with that, that kind of, that relationship when they were on earth. But Thor two, man, I mean, if you kind of take out maybe where they fell flat with the relationship between Jane and Thor, um, I mean, it was like, you had, you know, you had the, the, the space action, you know, w w when they were piloting the ships, you know, the uh, uh, the Dark Elves came to Asgard and were shooting up Asgard and whatnot. Uh, you know, that was that was really epic. Had a lot of Star Wars feel to it. Um, and then again, just the dynamic between Loki and Thor and, and what was going on. Just extremely, extremely solid. Um, and, you know, it, it may have not had the best ending, but I, I'm, I'm putting the Dark World above Thor number one in my book right now. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah. Pattinson gets a bad rep because of Twilight. Absolutely. I think he's going to do a great job. I think he definitely is. I'm super excited for the new Batman movie. I can't wait. Kid Tack. What's going on? He says, in my, my opinion, uh, the DC anime cartoons have always been better than the movies. Yes. But the new Batman looks interesting. Again, I think this is a popular opinion. So many people have said this. DC has been so solid on their animated movies. <laughs> I mean, it's it's just been amazing that most of their their animated films, and yet they struggle with you know they're, the they struggle with the DCEU, where Marvel it's like the other way around, right? Um, until you know Sony did an epic job with Into the Spider Verse. 
Let's see. Recently grabbed first appearance of Jane is Thor for some speculation. Awesome, Joji. And Frank, have you ever watched Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? I've watched the uh, first five seasons. Super good. Can't wait for season six. Yeah, I've watched every season of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I thought it had its ups and, up, its ups and downs. Um, I kind of, I, what was it? Episode, uh, or excuse me, season six. If that was the one before the last one, right? That one kind of was was a bit boring to me. But season seven, I thoroughly enjoyed. I really enjoyed season seven. I love how they capped it off and ended the series. Um, I thought they did a very, very excellent job. Yeah, and I, I think uh, Aegis of S.H.I.E.L.D. is the silver lining and all the ABC stuff. I'm not talking about the Netflix stuff, but like the ABC stuff. Aegis of S.H.I.E.L.D. really held it, held it together because some of that other ABC stuff like Inhumans was garbage. Um, you know, a cloak and dagger was decent. It was decent. Um, I like the second season better than the first. It was kind of slow. Runaways first season was decent as well. I, I was thoroughly entertained. I didn't think too much of it, but the second season was just like whack. I didn't even finish it. I couldn't, I just like, I'm done with this. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Uh, da -da, DC animated movies were epic. Young Justice was also really good. I love the Flashpoint animated film. That was dope. Uh, Mithlab says, hold on to everything Silver Age, Fantastic Four, especially issue 59 and earlier all the way down to number one. Dr. Doom and Namor issues are uh, going to get uh, get a boost. Mithlab, spot on. I absolutely agree with you. There's so much. There is so much Fantastic Four that can get hot without even it having to really be relevant to Fantastic Four showing up in the MCU. Obviously, they're gonna. We know that. But so many of these characters can show up without Fantastic Four, right? Like Namor. Um, you know, Black Panther already showed up without Fantastic Four. Uh, but yeah, that, that, like I've been on my Gal Galactus uh, hunt, getting all the key and minor key Galactus books. Um you know, but, but Namor, Dr. Dr. Doom's the next one, you know, Dr. Doom is really that one. Um, I, I, it's, it's inevitable. It's absolutely inevitable. And I think we're going to see a Dr. Doom that we've never seen before in a good way. Dr. Doom has just been so, so right. Uh, both, both times they tried to do him technically three, if you count the 1994 movie, <laughs> but, uh, oh my goodness. Poor Dr. Doom. Dan is in the house. What is going on, Dan? Again, guys, uh, I want to give a big shout out to Dan for uh, donating this beautiful. Now, this isn't for today's contest, but I'm showing it off here, guys. This beautiful uh, Tales to Astonish 91 8.0 white pages. Uh, Hulk and Abomination going at it. Again, you guys can still enter into this contest. This is my Patreon-only contest. If you guys want to help support the channel and get extra perks by becoming a patron at $3.99 a month, it's just one new comic book a month. Uh, the link to my Patreon is below as well. Uh, we are going to run this contest, and this isn't the only prize, but we're going to run this contest until I hit 20 patrons. Right now I'm at seven, so uh, we're, we're getting there uh, a little by little. But uh, yeah, if you guys want to you know, help support the channel, uh, the link is below to that. And again, official journos merch that link is below as well uh but i will be uh giving away some other really awesome uh comics with my patron only uh contest as well but got that showcased right now oh and there's my clone wars number one clone wars number one who oh new mandalorian night who watched last week's Ahsoka is, I mean, get, we're getting close, guys. We are getting close. And uh, I'm. this is the uh, Clone Wars number one, extremely rare newsstand edition, estimated in about maybe a 9.0, maybe 9.2 with the press. Very fine, near mint, near mint minus, somewhere around there. And uh, yeah, my asking price right now, if anybody is interested in this book, is $1,600. Now, I got ring for this for posting this on Facebook, but guys, $1,600 is about the fair market value for a CGC 9.8 Clone Wars number one. Direct edition though, direct edition, right? This is the direct edition is already very rare and scarce on the market. 
This one is almost impossible to find. This one is, 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 is like vibranium. Okay. That's how rare it is, especially in a higher grade because the newsstands were very limited and they were sold basically specifically to like your, your, uh, your, uh, newsstand bookshelves or, uh, uh like, uh, at bar your Barnes and Nobles and your borders and whatnot, where they sat up with the magazines on the rack and people manhandled them. Uh, and there was very, very limited, uh, supply. I don't know the actual, um, print run. But it's very, very small because the direct print run was extremely small as well. So this book is so hard to find, especially in a nine, in a, in a high grade. Um, it's hard to even gauge a fair market value for a high grade of that book. Uh, a, about a month ago or so before this book, even I mean, this book continues to get hotter. A, a 4.0, about a 4.0, this book was so beat up, sold for almost $800. So that's why I'm looking at this book at about a, a very fine near mint. I'm asking $1,600, but I'm also up for trades, guys. I'm also up for trades for some possible Silver Age or uh, Bronze Age or partial cash, partial trade. If anybody might be interested, look at that beauty. It is beautiful. All right, guys, let's see what we got going on in the comments. Do, 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 do. Uh, let's see. Inhumans and Silver Surfer and Galactus are going to blow up huge. Yes, yes, yes. Epic 48 is really the last book I want. Silver Age is expensive. That's true, Joe. It is. Um, and I uh, I recently acquired a Fantastic 448 CGC 3.0. And that's I, 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 I saved up money for it, guys. I look for I, I believe I start I started in 2017. And I haven't been, you know, I was a starving student trying to graduate college. And even through this pandemic, I was hurting. Uh, I got laid off from my job and then denied unemployment. I finally got unemployment, thankfully. So that helped. But um, I set aside like 15 to $20 every month, you know, and I didn't touch it. And I set my sights saying, I'm going to get this Fantastic 448 book. Now, if I would have bought it three years ago, I would have paid less. But I didn't have the money then. I did not have the money all at once to buy the book, even in a 3.0 grade back then, which I could have got it probably for at least a couple hundred dollars cheaper uh, in 2017 than what I paid for it in early or 2020, right? Uh, but guess what? I saved up my money. I set my sights on it and I'm glad that I got it when I did because it's still uh, going up and increasing in value. But yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's definitely tough sometimes uh, having patience and looking at things that way. Uh, can work out for you and you're willing to, uh, you know, pay a little more if it pays off, um, you know, in the long run still, but it, it's, it's absolutely tough when you, when you're looking at a book that already has such a high, uh, you know, market value comic hunter, agent Carter was good. You're right. You're right. Second season was a bit of, I mean, it was fun, but that first season I, I really loved. Yes. I, I was blanking on agent Carter there for a minute. I really love uh, the character of, of Peggy Carter and, and uh, the actress uh, for her, Haley at 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 Wall at Well. Something like that. <laughs> I'm bad with names, guys. Um, let's see, let's see. All right, we're we're gonna get into this giveaway in a few minutes, guys. I hate how Kevin Feige basically retcon Agents of Shield according to what I heard. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I don't know what what they're gonna be doing with that. You know, I will say as much as Agents of Shield tried to stay aligned with what was going on in the movie is like, you know, they mentioned Thanos guys. It, it didn't correlate. It, it did not after the first like two seasons, it did not correlate. I mean, you know, as, as, as I mean, and they try to correlate like, you know, winter soldier and ages of shield, like, you know, uh, or, um, shield, sorry. Uh, basically being, uh, completely dismantled and crumbled. It's just like it, they, they completely, continue to go farther and farther away from that. So I don't know, you know, th there might be some soft retconning going on, but we'll, we'll see. Let's see. Let me get through a few more comments and then we're going to bring a special guest in here, guys. Um, Brick Hunter's a Mandalorian junkie. <laughs> he gets the shakes when not having his Mando. Yeah. That's like everyone in my household, man, we got to wait another week. Ah, I hear it guys. I hear it. Joji, Chris, you were the first to hear when I got my FF49. I was so pumped. Yes. Still very, very happy for you for sure. 
Pass point one. Yes, yes, yes. Black and white. Exposed hat. All right, guys. Let's see. All right. Louie, what is going on? Appreciate you showing up tonight. I'm going to set this aside, guys. All right, guys. Let's bring in a special guest. My other half of comic book canon. The man. The myth. The legend. <laughs> Jeff. What's How's go it going? Here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, pretty exciting. We're going to be, or you're going to be giving away a pretty cool uh, package here, right? Yeah, yeah. You're going to be giving away some stuff too, right? Yep. Yeah. You want to talk about the comic book canon. Right. You want to talk a little bit right now about the uh, second place prize that we're going to be giving away on the uh, canon tonight? You know, I was going to run and get it, and then you brought me in. <laughs> So we'll talk about it in a comic book can. Okay. Sounds good. You won't want to miss it, guys. I'll tell you one thing for the second place prize, guys. You will have an awesome BCW showcase display. And not only will you be getting this, but there will be an awesome book inside of it. And it's going to be a surprise. Jeff's got some stuff that he's going to show off. But even Jeff doesn't know what's going in the case. Oh, there's Nobody something going knows in the case. Something's going to be in the case. Ah, I love it. I love it. Whenever they get it, and nobody's going to know but me. You know that song was like uh, uh, produced by Babyface? Nobody knows. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. <laughs> so that'll be That's cool. That's exciting. Those, are, those things are really cool, too. So easy to hang on your wall. And is that the one with the, um, the UV protection? You know, um... I, I don't think it is, but, but still, is it the one that it. you got? Yeah. yeah, yeah, guys, you know, as long as, you know, anytime I always advise <laughs> for anybody that has, wherever you're storing your combo books, whatever type of room, make sure there's not, you, you know, a direct uh, sunlight coming in or even direct uh, artificial light beaming. Like I know, like, you know, with like a lot of paintings and posters, you know, you have like stage lights, um, kind of like what you got going on back there with the, um, uh the uplighting <laughs> yeah 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 L those lightings so um and, and i do it too like 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 this uh but make sure guys that you know if you're if you have any kind of um show lighting you want to make sure you limit your light you, you're turning them off you're not leaving them on and exposing them to light over a long period of time right so there you go. Yeah. But who could say that, you know, wanting to showcase your beautiful book, right? I mean, hey, we, we got to do what we got to do. Yeah, I want to say yeah, what's up still. to people real quick. Raider Bear, what's up? Tony, Tony Trombetta, what is up? And Bishner, I want to say what's up because he thinks he knows what the book is in, that you're putting in there. Okay. He thinks it's the Clone Wars book. Who said that? Bishner. <laughs> you know what? I am a I am a very giving person and and I'm a humble person, but I'm not crazy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be, I'm that not would be crazy though. That would be newsworthy but, right there. I'm I'm glad you're being uh, optimistic though, for sure. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Yeah. So uh, so Jeff, uh, we have some awesome news as well to talk about in comic book canon. Mm -hmm. uh, Black Panther two news, right? We got a ton of stuff. It's like it was like. It's a ton of stuff. Like literally, it started off slow this week, and all of a sudden, it just came, just came down the mountain. Like even a, a couple of hours ago, with the Deadpool news. So it's yep, all going to be yep. fun to talk about. Super excited. Absolutely. And how about that uh, Mandalorian episode tonight? I no spoilers. Yep. I haven't seen it. Me neither. Chris, you haven't seen it either, right? <laughs> nope. Too busy. Set this is how, this is how it works with Chris and I. We don't have time to see it the day it comes out. We watch yep. it after the comic book canon show. Yep. Sorry. Yep. <laughs> no spoilers. I'm Absolutely. excited. Absolutely. Absolutely. And hey, guys, you know what? Just because I just. Oh, Brick Hunter. Sorry. Brick Hunter said it's going to be a Warlock book. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Brick Hunter. <laughs> Brick Hunter knows me well. <laughs> <laughs> You got some to spare. <laughs> yep, yep. All right, and just because I, I want to, guys, just for the fun of it, um, I'm leaving my my music website in the link. I don't know why. Guys, if you want to listen to some of my music, go check it out. <laughs> I, 
I actually did a video on, on YouTube. No, excuse me. I mean, on Instagram, I did a little snippet video and it had some of my music in the background. So, uh, yeah, I might just start incorporating some, some, some music here, but, um, well, I still, you know, got to bust out some freestyles for uh, the Combo Canada show. So there we go. Um, That'll be a you know, Definitely. you know, what we can do. We'll have the viewers like drop me some words mm -hmm. that I'll take and freestyle off of. That that'll, that'll be, be fun. Cool. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I got no freestyle skills for you, but I'll I'll drop a few crazy beats, maybe. Yeah. How about that? There we go. You, you know, uh, pull out the drum set. No, <laughs> not here in New York. <laughs> no. That's not happening here. Awesome, awesome. All right, guys. Well, shoot, man. Triz knows. Elbow cough. Should we? Uh, should we get started? Should we? Yeah, we may as well. I see a subtle elbow cough. I think that's yep. that's like a. <clears throat> uh, can we get this going? People are excited. Richard. Richard says, "Wrap a comic to a beat." You know what I used to do for my kids? Mm. I had like, like all of the um, Dr. Seuss books, and I used to wrap them. That's brilliant. That's Maybe brilliant. I'll do that one day for you guys too. I'll go, I, I think we still have some of them, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty awesome. I loved, I love putting putting them to a beat. So, all right, guys. Well, guess what? We are, you know, the clock's ticking here. We're gonna give away surprises because me and Jeff do got to get ready for the Cannon Show tonight. So, let's get the show on the road and make something happen here, guys. All right, I'm gonna pull up on screen randomizer. Um, you know, we got a decent amount of people in the building tonight. I might, I'm going to make two announcements before we announce the winner here. Okay. One, whoever wins, you have 48 hours to contact me. All right. For the grand place prize. All right. Uh, I will let you, after we announce, I will talk about how to do that, but you got about 48 hours. I'm going to say if I wake up Monday morning, and I haven't been contacted by the grand prize winner. Unfortunately, we're going to have to move on and we'll, we'll do another randomize and we'll offer it up to whoever else will win or give somebody else a chance to win. Okay. So you have about 48 hours to, to contact me. Um, and also if you live overseas, all right, we're going to have to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation just depending where you live. <laughs> Uh, to see, especially for the grand place prize, because the grand place prize is a lot of stuff and it's really heavy and it might not be worth even trying to ship overseas. I'm willing to cover some shipping if we can. I might ask that uh, you cover some shipping on your end as well, if that's doable. If not, we will work out another prize that would work specifically for you, which could include even like an online gift card of some sort. Um, so that way, you know, you could still come out a winner. All right. So I just wanted to uh, put that out there. I mean, we got to be realistic here. If somebody, you know, lives like in, in Asia or somewhere um, and it's, you know, it, it costs a hundred dollars to ship the prize. I mean, it's just, it, it's, it's almost pointless, right? Because, you know, it could, I mean, that's about maybe the value of the prize in itself or, or, or whatnot, you know, it's just, um, and, and I know like I shipped, uh, I recently shipped uh, a flat uh, photo envelope to Germany and it cost me 40 bucks and that was without insurance <laughs> and it's, it's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. So I just wanted to make those two things clear. And with that being said, let's do this. Let's pull up the randomizer on screen here, guys. All right. Oh, I hope everyone can see that there. Who is ready? Who's feeling antsy? Man, I'm excited. Again, thank you to everyone. Everyone. I think we had a, a close to like, I don't know, it was it was well over 100 entries. Um, everyone, everyone that took the time to, uh, to, to enter, that took the time to comment on the Combo Book Canada video and let us know what your first comic book was. Reading all those was really, really cool, really amazing. Um, loved hearing everybody's stories. So good luck to each and every one of you. And again, a big thank you to my uh, patrons who got an extra entry for being a patron. Um, good luck to you guys as well. And here we go, guys. We are going to, so I'm go actually going to, uh, you're going to see me on screen here, but I'm not going to see you guys. I'm not going to see the chat for a minute. All I'm going to see is the randomizer. And uh, I'm going to randomize it three times, like rock, paper, 
scissors. And on that third, whoever is at top is going to be the winner. All right. Kingfish, comic altruism. Thanks for popping in. Uh, are we ready, guys? Let's do this. Good luck to all. all right. Here we are. Drum roll. We got all the names in there. All those beautiful names. We got randomized right here. And I'm going to hit it three times. Let's do it. All right. Three. Two. And one. Dan, the man. Wow. <laughs> Dan De La Torre. Yeah, he just said I'm coming back in. Contest. Well, guess what? You win. I'm coming back in. Flix, JoJo, what's going on? Dan is the winner. And I know Dan. I know awesome. Dan is uh, right around the corner for me. And look at this, Dan. And he was just saying, I always get nervous on contact to contest. Dan, you are so so well deserving. Uh, you know, look, guys. Let me. If, for those that don't know, uh, besides Dan being just an awesome friend of the channel and you know supporting day after day, week after week, Dan uh, actually donated the the uh the the prize for for the patron contest guys this beautiful tales to astonish 91 he donated this out of the goodness of his heart and if karma isn't proven true guys uh i'm i'm very happy for you dan um so glad that uh you know all these goodies are gonna uh find an awesome home to go to so congratulations dan Hey, you may want to explain the, the two entries. Phil uh, Ailing is asking about the two entries. Yes, yes. So, okay, so Dan is a, uh, it's funny that they both <laughs> randomized the top, but Dan is a patron, as a patron, okay? So because Dan supports uh, the channel uh, as a paid patron, um, he, I, everyone that became a patron got got an extra entry. So, so yeah, so don't don't worry, I wasn't like, playing favorites and saying, oh, well, I like Dan. I'm going to put his name in here twice. It's it's specific to the fact that he is a, 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 a has a monthly membership to my Patreon. Uh, so I gave all, there were seven people. There, I have seven patrons right now and each one of them got an extra entry. So, so yeah. So again, I, I thank you all so much oh by the way and i didn't i didn't mention this but dan is also going to get a custom journals comics art print i forgot to mention that earlier in the show um so dan and you will be getting a a custom uh art print from yours truly um give me some time uh to get everything together let's pull this out um we're gonna pull that out so yeah so i'm a, I, I i'm gonna press up the wonder woman number one for you dan like I was saying, it's it's got a little bit of a, some some waves in there. I'm gonna press this guy up, give it a nice press and clean. Mm. Uh, so I'll do that before I send it out. Um, uh, I got a few other of the books to bag and board for you before I send out. But again, congratulations, Dan. Now, guys, guys, don't don't feel bad. Uh, you know, uh, still I thank you all for entering, and you all, all of you except for Dan. <laughs> Have an opportunity to still win that second prize, second place prize, okay? Yep. So, um, again, we are just over an hour away from Combo Book Cannon. Uh, so, everyone has an opportunity to win that second place prize. Uh, I want to see all you guys there. Um, yeah. Jeff, you got any, any thoughts before we try to wrap this up tonight? Just want to congratulate Dan. Uh, let everybody know we have a, a really packed, fun show coming up. A lot of news. Uh, as always, the, uh, the Cosmic Minute uh, with uh, Tom Tormey. And uh, Kid Collector's favorite, the top 10 hottest comics of the week. Yeah, it's an interesting one, too. A really interesting yeah, uh, yeah. Book, books this week that I'm talking about for my top three. That's for sure. Yep. All right, guys. If there's any, we'll look at some, uh, some comments for, for a couple minutes. If anybody had any other questions. Uh, Dan says, uh, let's see what Dan's saying. Dan says, thanks guys 
One of you is going to get that beautiful Tales to Astonish 91 CGC 8.0 white pages Hulk versus Abomination. Absolutely. Brick Hunter, thank you so much for, for participating, for constantly supporting the channel. Joe, um, for sure, for sure. I'll mix the next one, but 4 a.m. comes too early. I hear you, Joe. And uh, hey, same, so same rules for um for the second place prize, guys. Uh, we want to make sure that you contact us within 48 hours. Um, we'll let you know how to contact us on the combo book cannon show. For those that can't tune into the combo book cannon show that did enter the contest, I'll, go back to it this weekend. Watch the show this weekend. Um, make sure you know if you're a winner or not, and make sure you reach out to us. Okay, mm -hmm. so. Um, Bishner, I'm going to be drinking with you, buddy. I'm going to have a consulate before you, too. Uh, so you won't be the only one drinking, all right? I see, he says, guys, I'm apologizing now for the Canon show. I'm about to start drinking for my loss. It's okay, man. It's okay. We, I guarantee you we've seen worse, whatever it is that you'll be commenting about. Guaranteed right. we've seen worse. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Especially, I've, I've seen a lot this last week. I've gotten a lot of flack this last week for, for my videos. But I love it. It's all good. You guys are all here supporting Jeff. Thank you for uh, for stopping by. Oh, absolutely! Uh, my channel. Yeah. Congrats to three thousand, and on the same day, our show, Comic Book Cannon, got three hundred. Yep, isn't that awesome, guys? The three thousand, the three hundred for both channels. Yeah, big thank you for all that have been supporting the Comic Book Cannon channel. And you know, you know, the comp we're, we're infants over there. We've only been doing this for a few months, but uh, we appreciate you all. And uh, you know, we have. Uh, a lot of work to put in over there week after week for the next coming months and years and however long we're going to be doing this. Yeah. I really appreciate the support. Very, very, very grateful. Awesome. All right, guys. Well, thank you all again so much for being here, for entering the contest. Congrats to Dan and Jeff and I will see you on the flip side in about one hour and three minutes counting down. So again, thank you guys so much check all the links below merchandise patreon uh, uh egs big shout out to tony a1 comics uh for supporting the show uh bcw and all of our you know friends of the channel and affiliates go check out all the links below guys we will see you on the canon in one hour peace yeah